are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight, just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end and why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The elder had one condition for letting me go, that I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room, and I can hear my mom's voice. Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. I was sick for past few weeks and um, that is why I couldn't play or record much games. Um, this is a, I'm feeling much better now and this is a new game that I have bought and I was very very excited to play it. I saw many gameplays on this game and I loved it so uh, let me tell you something about this game. Um, you saw the narration in the beginning and what um, and by the gameplay what I uh, felt about it is um, that this is a very beautiful and thought provoking game that takes you on an emotional journey through time. The protagonist. Um, she sets on a journey to record everything she can about the world, about the old world before it's swallowed up by the new, uh, to provide a historical record for the new season that follows. This game is developed by the indie studio called Scavengers and uh, season is a unique blend of exploration, puzzle solving and storytelling. It begins with a gentle melancholic adventure that sees Estelle um, the name of the main character here. Uh, she leaves Caro, her village, and explores the world beneath it, overwhelming her senses with sights, sounds, and sensations she, she's never felt before. Um, she's also armed with Polaroid camera. Estelle uh, snaps anything she finds noteworthy and pops it into her journal. As the player, you will be you are the judge of what is and isn't interesting. The same goes for sound clips that she records with mic um, and a recorder. She can tape intriguing soundscapes and magically embed embed those in her notes. Um, she she manages a scrapbook, which I love as an artist. Like I I love uh, scrapbooks and mood boards. Um, that's what you you can do it here too, uh, maintaining the scrapbook with all your adventures uh, throughout the journey throughout the game. Um, the visuals and sound design are stunning, and the gameplay is both calming and engaging. Um, important note: 
so i'm dedicating this game to my friends who are very close to my heart and i am thankful for them every single day of my life um okay i don't want to keep you guys waiting let's begin the game okay mm. i think these are the these are the pages but she was narrating this is her friend who had the vision i actually love her sketches a bell a catalog for strangers and dad's camera ready for the great departure looks like a dog hope you like him more than you like the fish okay wandering tail festival My aunt was really good with this patty. My aunt was really good with origami. Night like in the plaza. That's sketch. I went out for a climb. Be back this evening. XOXO. <laughs> Absorb the moment. The last moment in this little house. There used to be three of us here. My mom and dad and me. Soon it will be just her. Her and all these memories. But in this moment everything is the same as ever. Until I shift my weight. The floorboards creak. Mom hears it and turns to me. You're up. What are you doing standing there? Time to get going. It's going to be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still got to make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body, an identity pendant protects your mind, your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore, but if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shield in you. Diseases of the mind, like the dream sickness. It was Dr. Fumio's last invention. He realized that some psychedelic maladies were impossible to cure. So he made the pendant to prevent them in the first place. If you have a better idea how to protect your brain from being destroyed, let's hear it. 
That's what I thought. In times of war, a pendant can be used to identify... <sighs> Let's skip that part. Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Okay. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless, at least. Okay, so. This old tape should work for our sense of sound. Wow, I love the music. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. We back in home. We all rested together until it got dark. Disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. <sighs> I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in a pendant forever. So they should be important to you. They should be parts of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. Okay, let's explore. Try plus. Ancient perfume, sweet. Nothing is ever lost. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. Your dad used to bring these flowers home from his climbs. They only grow high up in the mountains. He was a great climber. He even found us a new source of water. I hoped after he would climb less. Maybe even retire. But he always wanted to explore. And the only direction to go was maybe the elder is letting you leave out of guilt for what happened to your dad. If someone has the energy to leave, it needs to go somewhere. He fell into the Fitz ravine. He never found his body. But doesn't he rest with us at night? Doesn't he appear in our dreams? How can such a human being depart this earth without leaving behind a trace? A trace as strong as the flowers would still have their scent. Darling, I don't want to lose this one. I can't lose this one. Can we put the flowers back, please? The stronger the memory, the stronger the pendant. Okay. But I... Thank yeah, you. I should just keep them back. So in this game, you'll have your choices. That Sweet you'll need wax, to make. honey. How I've tried to save things. Let's explore more. Childhood. Too sweet, too old. 
I always wanted to experience new things. <laughs> Me too. Nothing. I used to see souls everywhere. Granite, seaside, darkness. This speaks to how my mom loves me. Honey, wax, baby, waves. I was loved by people I have no memory of. As long as I burn, may the moment last and last and last. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. This kind of candle keeps someone alive for the time it takes to burn. Just a few hours when death is nearby. It can be enough for last rites, last words. This was grandma's candle. She didn't want to use it. You spent a lot of time with her when you were a baby. I realized she wouldn't live long enough for you to remember her. Or for her to see you grow up and discover what kind of person you'd be. So in a way, you don't know her. And she didn't know you. And yet, she loved you. I don't know where love goes. But it belongs to you anyway. This made me remember my grandma. She's not here with us anymore, but... Now touch. Yeah, I miss her a lot. And I loved her. Pick something with a texture you like. My hand in my own hand. This speaks to how my mom loves me. So what did you end up choosing? Okay, put your hand in the hand. Oh, I remember it so well. It's not as bad now, but in the old days, not many children live long enough to grow up. We believed if a child could make it to the age of nine, they'd be all right. This print was made of your hand when you turned nine. Your father and I couldn't believe we really had a healthy girl. An old deep fear inside of me finally went away, and we saw you would just keep growing and growing, that everything was going to be okay. Fine. Let's do sight next. Pick something that... that looks nice. Gold, glint, smile, blushing face. I used to see souls everywhere. So, what did you end up choosing? There were years when you saw faces everywhere. We had to be gentle with everything in case it had a soul. I remember you saw some sticks on the ground in the shape of a face. You were so worried what would happen if the wind blew. I secretly put the sticks away and showed you the face on this spoon. Look, she transformed, I said. You were so serious, studying it, thinking how a soul could transform shapes. Eventually, you stopped seeing faces everywhere. 
Does the world have fewer souls in it now than when you were a child? Or are they still out there? For taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. The memory I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. I want you to have it forever. Standing here, you're having a last taste of home. Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home around your neck. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. And never tamper with it. Okay? Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. Let me see if I can pick those items. Candies. Okay, I cannot. Melon honey flavor. lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you too? I love how um, there is option to um, I love how this game allows you to capture the moments and people and things Look at us. There we are. There we were. We'll always be right here on this beautiful morning. That was a beautiful beginning. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. This is the scrapbook. Um, <laughs> I have never played a simulator game and um, I really like these options that they have given us and not just with pictures but uh, um, if you are capturing a moment um, you get to make the you get to make these uh, sketches um, and uh, you can put them on your scrapbook so it's really really beautiful It's like you're journaling all these memories and moments that you are going through 
for the next generation to come so that they remember mm, I'll put the pendant here I think I'm going to take a lot of time making this scrapbook because I I'm actually loving this As I told you this is such a relaxing game and it makes you think about life I never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning it knocked the wind out of me rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story filling in this journal is a ritual too but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet Oh, we have dialogues too that can go with the uh, memories. Mm. So you can capture many things um throughout your journey, but you will have to you have a limited area to put the particular memories into that page so it depends on how you are um making your journey and how you want to show how you want to capture those moments for the next generation to come um that's what it is about and i'm sure every player in the world will have different perspective they'll put different things and i think that's what makes this game so unique because it's it's not just the you're not going through the game it's it's about choices that you are making and i think that's how you will shape the game for yourself like how every choice in our life is important it shapes our future but again not taking so much pressure mostly it's in, it's about enjoying I've brought tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. Let me quickly complete the page. This page the final sentence. I I yeah, I want to put it's somewhere a final smile before i left home i love uh, the i love her estelle's mom's picture because even though she's smiling she has you can see the worry in her eyes and near those eyebrows i mean that area is you can see the worry of the mother in the face yet she's happy to because she wants to be supportive um and i think it's been captured really nicely i'm a big studio ghibli fan and and that studio ghibli movies are brilliant and i shouldn't connect but then i it it's giving me the same feeling the same vibe because come on who doesn't want to be in that <laughs> who doesn't want to be in studio ghibli movie it's a mixture of reality and fantasy okay 
Okay. Mm, let me put it here. I can scale it. Um, what else? Yeah, I would want to put this here. Because this, this, I think this is a very important information about how um, not many children they could live after age nine. It was difficult for the parents. I think this is worth of. Okay, almost done. This doesn't look proper. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry guys, if this is taking a lot of time. I just, I love scrapbook, so I'm not gonna leave it just like that. I want it to be perfect. I want it to show my perspective. I think I'm done. Maybe I can come back later to that page. Audio recorder. Plenty of fresh water here. I wonder if it's more scarce in the outside world. Last night there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Fumia. This is a beautiful view. I think I'm gonna capture this part. Last night, my friends wrote down their hopes for my trip and tied them to the branches of this tree. Okay, I can sprint now. A wish fell off the tree. I'm not supposed to read them, but it might be good for you to have an example of one. Hmm, I'll leave. Some traditions should be kept alive, even when no one's looking. Yep, that's important. Smells like an old man's toes dipped in cinnamon. I had to drink this gross potion last night. Like my pendant, it's supposed to protect my brain. Say loves fish, even though nobody here has ever seen one. We worked the day Dr. Fumio cured memory access. Oh, I can change filter. Wow. Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. 
Hmm, okay. I think I need to find three murals um, in this area. This statue should be the one. This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. That goes there. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from timeless perception. Melodies of mind. Mm, that goes there. I love the view. I love the colors. Okay, let's take a picture of this this area and uh, I want that sun to be in the middle. Yeah, perfect. Oh, this looks nice. Let's explore more. Okay, I don't think there is anything else. Music and poetry tonight. This is the cafe where my dad used to read his poems. He wrote one for me. Maybe he wrote it for you too. This is a unique music. This is a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. An instrument designed by Dr. Fumio. Pate's little daydream of leaving this place, of seeing something weird. Oh, there is another mural, and let's take a picture of it. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. Dr. Fumio never cured the dream sickness. Okay. This looks nice. Carol Village is nice if you're a child or an old person. But for those of us in between, I need to leave. I love the narrator's voice, um, <clears throat> it's so calming. I 
I should take a picture of this. Yeah, this is good. I think I have covered everything. Let's fill the scrapbook page with recent documentation. This might take some time guys, I'll just fast forward it. The village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. I think there I think I'm not done with this entire place since I'm going downwards and uh, I'll just wait I'll just see if there is anything on the way and that I can include in the same page Karo founded 710 Karo village was founded during the modernity much later Dr. Fumio arrived and remade it in his image After the search was called off for dad, our doorstep was covered in them. That's really sweet. It looked like lavender, but I'm sure it's not. Okay, let me just complete my scrapbook. And I'm gonna fast forward it again.
and i think i'm done yeah this looks good Is it recording? Yes. Okay. How to leave home for my daughter. Find a sacred square of earth. Lay down so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. everything Do you see for yourself? You see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now stand They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move, to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them. I love how this game reminds reminds us of the smaller things that we should appreciate in life stop and think this game is wonderfully designed it has a very graphic novel kind of a look seems like a bicycle shop let me see okay there is nothing in the corner mm, i love to explore a bit um <clears throat> you don't like to miss anything scenes are beautiful I can actually imagine myself standing there and watching the view I love the colors of the bike Pate fixed up 3 bikes instead of 1 Again, I want to cover every corner. Don't want to miss anything. should i pick i think i'll go with the yellow bright as sun oh i 
famous riding bike <laughs> i used to go i used to travel uh, with my bike everywhere when i was a kid and i am from a small town so all this looks so familiar going down the road crossing the bridge there was a very small bridge uh, between my house and my school this game reminds me so much of the days from my past and it's it's making me happy and emotional of course I'm loving every bit of it. I was trying to look the other side but can't do that and control the bicycle at the same time so you have to look straight ahead it looks like it ends here the bridge ends here in port expo <coughs> The tree roots are cut off. Caro is going to feel even smaller now. Traders used to come to the outskirts of the village. The war put an end to this. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. I'm suffering from memory excess. but cannot travel to the village for treatment i was praying you could instruct me by mail how to cure myself from this disease i am unable to forget now i realize how important it is to gain open space in the mind tell me what to do tell me how to forget before setting up in caro village dr fumio roamed the land curing people it must have been hard when he wasn't around anymore especially for people who couldn't travel to the village I'll be surprised if this letter reaches you the war has become like a deranged sleeper trashing in bed eyes closed tight i have noticed how the soldiers strip people of their clothes first a smaller degradation which permits everything that follows i wish i had loved you more completely when the world allowed it They were right. The letter never made it. The season before this one, the war, seems so horrible. There was one more letter that side, but okay. Hmm, postcards. Asian islands. I feel like I'm walking tipsy on the edge of the earth. We are skipping from island to island the way a stone skips along the surface of the water, leaving little ripples like a kiss or two. Oh, I don't know. I just miss you today and today and today. Exact so, you know who. These letters are so well written. Thank Valley. Hey, guess where am I? I hope you looked at the at the site first. I had to pay my respects to the birthplace of Menchaz. There's a lot of tourists but also a weird feeling to the place. It would take me more than a postcard to explain. Thank you. Let's check out the other one. It's from Estelle's village. 
This village was very hard to find but if you really need it somehow you make your way there. I just wanted to let you know that I am staying here for good. The season can only meet a violent end. It's too bright, too cheery. Stay safe. I think I'm gonna pick this. I can see in these letters that the outside world has extremes of beauty and tragedy beyond anything I've known. Should I pick the third one? Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll take this with me too. I don't know, maybe I need to deliver this to the places where I'm gonna go. There was another letter here. Oh, let's check that out. Got it. Dear Cornelius, I've thought it over and I have to tell you the name you picked for your baby. It is terrible. Please do not go forward with it. I pray this letter reaches you in time. Yours, Drino. That poor baby. This is a very funny letter. <laughs> mm, let's record the sound. humans had evolved to sing instead of talk. This is a beautiful view. Impressive sketch. I've always wanted to travel and sketch. I do it sometimes. It makes me very happy. Let me take a screenshot of this. take a picture in the village these cranes look like little creatures, grazing. I had no idea how huge they are. Sounds like something is howling. Maybe it's these bamboos. Mm, let's record it.
come and carve notches in the bamboo for the wind to flit through so it can sing. Yeah. These are bamboos. Hmm. Ring bell. I will park right here. Yep. Mm. Sea land transportation industries. Crane to move materials around. The things that used to be possible. This is a nice view. I think I'm gonna capture this one too. what I was going to say. We learned about old technology in school, but not much about animals. 
What are these strange goat-like creatures? Are they simply goats? My first time petting an animal. I think it went pretty well. I guess I had beginner's luck before. Okay, now I got it back. I'm in control. I can easily pet certain four-legged animals. I cycled through landscapes, seeing them for the first and last time. I had no idea when I left my home how the season would end, or more importantly, how soon. <laughs> 